We never do seem to get rid of those things. A bomb. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Barry the Dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. Well, so much for following me. Fine. Let's see what you find. You pledged this up too? I'll have you know that was pledged when we found it. Sure it was. Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Hang on. Almost got it. Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Block than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right, now I can turn this plane, Captain. <laughs> you just give me this thing. Promising. Turn it. Copy that. There you go. Right Turn it again. Aye, aye. Gates open. Come on through and get those cables. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Ooh, that's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. 
The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hmm. This time. Out of the way, let me look. Ah, all fuck knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, if this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste of men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good! Crank it! <laughs> That's it! Yep. Yeah. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. Bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? If you want to get out of here, listen up. Throw a spear into that thing right there. <laughs> Great! You got him! Oh, 
Hello there. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskr whenever you're ready. Mm. Got one last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very Mamiya. well. I see a shorter path. Aye. Shall we let Brock improve your gear before we go? Well, thank you kindly, Brock. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier, if Atreus hadn't been there. Mm. Perhaps. We could go again, find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. Hmm. <laughs> 